Have you ever pondered about where your food comes from and how it impacts your survival strategy? This question may seem simple at first glance, but it holds a profound significance, particularly for preppers. Today, we're going to delve into the concept of food sourcing and its importance in our survival strategy. Think of food sourcing as the journey your food takes from the field to your fork. It's the process of growing, harvesting, processing, packaging, transporting, marketing, consuming and disposing of food. Sounds like a long journey, right? But what if we could simplify that journey? What if we could reduce the miles our food travels, ensuring its freshness and nutritional value? That's where local food sourcing comes in. Local food sourcing is about buying food that's grown or produced within your local community. It could be vegetables from a farmer's market, fish from a local fisherman, or even honey from a backyard beekeeper. The benefits of this practice are multifold. Firstly, local food is fresher and therefore, more nutritious. When food doesn't have to travel long distances, it retains its nutrients, which are essential for our health and well-being. The shorter the time between the farm and your table, the less likely it is that nutrients will be lost. Secondly, local food sourcing supports the local economy. When you buy local, you're putting money directly into the pockets of local farmers, fishermen, and gardeners. You're helping to strengthen your community and keep it resilient. And lastly, local food sourcing is often more affordable. Yes, you heard it right. Contrary to popular belief, locally sourced food can be cheaper than food at the grocery store. This is because the cost of transportation and middlemen are cut out, making it a more economical choice. As we dive deeper into this topic, I invite you to subscribe to our channel, Prepping for Tomorrow, as we embark on this journey of survival together. We'll explore more about how we can leverage the power of local food sourcing to build a robust and resilient prepper pantry. So stay tuned and let's prepare for tomorrow today. So you've stocked your prepper pantry, but have you thought about where your food comes from? It's a question that prompts us to delve deeper into the world of food sourcing. Picture this. You're browsing the aisles of your local supermarket. The shelves are laden with canned goods, all promising long shelf lives, convenience and nourishment. But have you ever stopped to think about the journey these products have taken to reach you? Or the potential risks and uncertainties associated with mass-produced or imported food? For instance, consider the logistics involved in bringing that can of beans to your pantry. It's likely that the beans were grown in a field hundreds if not thousands of miles away. They were then harvested, processed, canned, and transported across the country, or even across the globe, before finally landing on your supermarket shelf. Each step of this process introduces potential points of failure, from crop diseases and pests to transportation issues and supply chain disruptions. And then there's the matter of food sovereignty. This is the concept that individuals and communities have the right to define their own food systems, including the production, distribution, and consumption of food. When we rely on mass-produced or imported food, we're essentially surrendering our food sovereignty. We're placing our trust and indeed our survival in the hands of large corporations and complex supply chains. But there's another way. By sourcing food from local farmers, fishermen, and gardeners, we can regain some control over our food system. We can learn about the practices used to produce our food ensuring it's grown or raised in a way that aligns with our values and needs. We can foster relationships with the people who feed us, building a sense of community and mutual support. Moreover, buying locally often means fresher, higher quality food. It means supporting local economies and promoting sustainable farming practices. And it means reducing our reliance on the unpredictable and often opaque global food system. Knowing where your food comes from and how it's produced can be a game-changer in your prepping strategy. So, let's take a closer look at the advantages of local food sourcing in our next segment. What happens when a crisis hits and the grocery stores run dry? Picture this. It's an ordinary Wednesday, and suddenly the news breaks. A disaster has struck. Within hours the grocery store shelves are empty. The food supply chain disrupted. Panic sets in. This isn't a scene from a dystopian novel but a harsh reality that could occur in our world. You see, our modern food system is incredibly complex and vulnerable. It stretches across continents relying heavily on global trade and efficient logistics. However, this system is not foolproof. Natural disasters, political instability, economic downturns, pandemics, any of these could lead to severe food shortages. And when that happens those who are prepared, the preppers, will be the ones who can weather the storm. Now let's talk about the role of local food sourcing in this scenario. 
local farmers, fishermen, and gardeners operate on a smaller scale and are less dependent on long supply chains, they can continue producing food even when the larger system is disrupted. By sourcing food locally, you're not just supporting your community, but also building a safety net for yourself. Imagine having a pantry filled with locally sourced food. Vegetables from your neighbor's garden, honey from the local beekeeper, fish caught in nearby waters, meat from a farmer down the road. Not only are these foods fresher and healthier, but they're also more reliable sources in times of crisis. When the grocery stores are empty, your local food network can keep you fed. But it's not just about having food to eat. It's about knowing where your food comes from, understanding how it's grown or caught, and building relationships with the people who produce it. It's about becoming a part of a community that values sustainability and self-reliance. So, the next time you're stocking your prepper pantry, think local. Visit your local farmer's market. Meet your local fishermen. Connect with gardeners in your area. Their knowledge and products could be invaluable in a crisis. In times of crisis, a local food network can be your lifeline. Think local food sourcing is expensive? Think again. You've probably heard it before that buying from your local farmers, fishermen, and gardeners can be a little pricey. But let's peel back the layers of that myth and dive into the reality. Yes, it's true that sometimes the price tag on local food can seem a bit higher, but what you're paying for isn't just the food itself. You're investing in quality, freshness, and the sustainability of your local economy. Let's talk about quality versus price. When you buy from a local source, you're getting food that's often harvested at peak ripeness, not prematurely picked to endure long-haul shipping. The taste, the nutritional value, the freshness, it's all superior. So, while you may be paying a few more cents per pound, you're getting a lot more bang for your buck in terms of quality. Buying in season is another way to make local food sourcing more cost-effective. Seasonal food is abundant, and abundance usually translates to lower prices. When you buy strawberries in the middle of winter, you're paying for them to be shipped across the world. But if you buy them when they're in season locally, you'll often find them to be much cheaper, not to mention fresher and tastier. And then, there's the concept of buying in bulk. Many local farmers offer bulk buy or family pack deals that can save you a significant amount of money. You can preserve the excess by canning, freezing, or dehydrating, ensuring you have high-quality food on hand all year round. And hey, if you're a prepper, you know the value of having a well-stocked pantry. But beyond quality and affordability, there's another factor at play here. Each dollar spent on local food puts money back into your community, supporting your neighbors and fostering local resilience. You're not just buying food, you're strengthening your local economy and building relationships with the people who grow your food. When you buy local, you're investing in quality food and a resilient community. As we look ahead to 2023, let's ask ourselves, how self-reliant are we? That's a question that requires some serious thought. When we talk about prepping, the concept of self-reliance is paramount. It's not just about having enough food in your pantry or gear in your backpack. It's about the ability to provide for oneself and one's family, independent of external systems. This is where local food sourcing can truly shine. By purchasing your goods directly from farmers, fishermen and gardeners in your community, you're not just getting fresher, higher quality food, you're also building relationships with the people who know how to produce that food. These connections can lead to potential partnerships and learning opportunities that can greatly enhance your self-reliance. Imagine learning how to grow your own vegetables from the local gardener, or understanding how to fish from the experienced fishermen down the river. These are skills that can serve you well in any situation, not just in times of crisis. And the knowledge you gain from these interactions can be invaluable, helping you to become more resilient and self-reliant in the face of future challenges. Moreover, by supporting local producers, you're also contributing to the resilience and sustainability of your local community. This, in turn, can make the entire community more self-reliant, creating a kind of mutual support network that can be incredibly beneficial in times of need. So, as we move forward into 2023 and beyond, let's focus on building our self-reliance. Let's forge connections with our local food producers, learn from their wisdom, and in doing so, better prepare ourselves for whatever the future may hold. Remember, prepping isn't just about surviving, it's about thriving, and local food sourcing can play a crucial role in that journey.